Our paper is called Spotlight on Once Monthly Long-Acting Injectable Aripiprazole and its potential as maintenance treatment for bipolar 1 disorder in adult patients. In this paper, we reviewed the evidence for using long-acting injectable aripiprazole to prevent mood episodes of bipolar disorder. This is important because mood episodes make life difficult for people who suffer from bipolar disorder. People who stop taking their medications are more likely to end up in the hospital because of a mood episode. Long-acting medications like injectable aripiprazole mean that people don't have to worry about taking a pill every day and can spend more time living their lives. Aripiprazole interacts with multiple receptors in the brain, which may contribute to its specific clinical effects. It strongly binds to dopamine D2 and D3 receptors, serotonin 5-HT1A and 5-HT2A receptors, and it has moderate binding strength for dopamine D4, serotonin 5-HT2C, and 5-HT7 receptors. We conducted our literature search using keywords bipolar, aripiprazole, long-acting, injectable, LAI, and long-acting aripiprazole. Only one clinical trial was identified that focused on the use of long-acting injectable aripiprazole in bipolar disorder. The safety and effectiveness of oral aripiprazole has been established for treatment of acute manic and mixed episodes of bipolar disorder. Aripiprazole has not been found to be effective for the treatment of bipolar depression. Aripiprazole oral formulation is also effective in the maintenance treatments of bipolar disorder, which means that it works to prevent a mood episode from occurring. In July of 2017, the FDA approved long-acting injectable aripiprazole for maintenance monotherapy of bipolar 1 disorder in adults. This approval was based on a single, double-blind, placebo-controlled study that included over 700 individuals. It utilized a diverse sample of participants recruited from 103 sites in seven different countries. In conclusion, stability during the maintenance phase is arguably the most important goal of treatment. It is during this period of relative freedom from symptoms that patients are able to build meaningful and satisfying lives.